Now in that revelation, Donald Trump Jr. exchanged private Twitter messages with WikiLeaks during the presidential campaign. Our senior justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, has more. He joins us from Washington. Good morning, Pierre. Robin, good morning. That's right. Today, new allegations that Trump's son, Don Jr., was in contact with not just the Russians, but another adversary against Hillary Clinton, WikiLeaks. New word this morning that Donald Trump Jr. was directly communicating with WikiLeaks. Communication that apparently had direct cause and effect. On October 12th, in the final stretch of the campaign, WikiLeaks wrote Don Jr. saying, Great to see you and your dad talking about our publications. WikiLeaks encouraged Trump to tell his father to mention their link in his tweets. Fifteen minutes later, then-candidate Donald Trump tweets, very little pickup by the dishonest media of incredible information provided by WikiLeaks. So dishonest. Rigged system. Within two days, Don Jr. tweeted out the link. Throughout the election, Donald Trump repeatedly made known his fondness for WikiLeaks, which released a spate of damaging emails to his opponent in the presidential race, Hillary Clinton. We have to go back to WikiLeaks. Oh, WikiLeaks. But WikiLeaks had been identified by the intelligence community as being a surrogate for the Russian government, publishing damaging information hacked by the Kremlin, stolen from the DNC and Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta. This from the current Trump-appointed CIA director. It's time to call out WikiLeaks for what it really is, a non-state hostile intelligence service often abetted by state actors like Russia. Donald Trump Jr.'s exchanges began in September of last year during the final stretch of the campaign. WikiLeaks contacting the Sun asking him about an anti-Trump website which was about to be launched. Don Jr. responded by informing the campaign's leadership, including Steve Bannon, Kellyanne Conway, and son-in-law Jared Kushner. The contact continued through Election Day, with WikiLeaks writing Don Jr. saying, If your father loses, we think it's more interesting if he does not concede and spends time challenging the media. Don Jr. did not respond to that message. Don Jr. not only expressed a willingness to accept uh, the help of the Russian government uh, in that meeting at Trump Tower. Uh, but here you have him in communication privately, secretly, uh, with WikiLeaks. Don Jr. and his attorney downplayed the WikiLeaks revelation. Don Jr. tweeting last night, here's the entire chain of messages with WikiLeaks with my whopping three responses. Responses, he says, selectively leaked by Congress. George? Okay, Pierre, thanks very much.